custom room has damn awesome features and i made a video already on this custom room i'm talking about xcn os xcn aosp custom room it's available for only few of the devices unfortunately but it's available for some devices as gsi and so on and you can experience this in case if you want to if you have a device which supports many custom rooms it might be available for you some of the things which you are definitely going to love for example the nothing os vibes for example, as you just noticed, the app drawer, it is inspired from nothing OS having this amazing looking themed icons by default and you just click there and you're open to the settings. You're already redirected to the settings of the launcher by just clicking on the three dots. And it also brings you some all extra features, but this is not the only thing. One more thing is the recent spanner. This is actually different as many custom rooms are not getting the QPR update based features. I mean, not completely working fine, but in this case, the recent panel, it is actually having kind of QPR style recent UI. And if you don't know what that is, you just notice the difference, different kind of recent UI and you already got to know about that. If you move on to recent panel, you will notice that recent panel is also, of course, a blur background is already enabled. Having the latest quick settings panel, which is which you are able to resize the tiles and so on. And it is having a lot of extra things in this case, too. With the new update right now, right now, while making this video, we have a new widget available for you. For example, if you move on to widget section, we have Xian widgets. In this case, we have this battery style widget. And while making this video, we are also getting some more updates, for example, like photo widget and so on. So many things which you're getting are inspired from nothing worse. And that looks quite good. Might be adapted to some other custom rooms soon, but let's see. One more thing which I personally loved a lot about this one is the lock screen clock styles. We do not have the default clock styles which are available with Android from a long time now, 12, 13, 14, 15 and so on. But we have the new clock styles available and all these clock styles are inspired from nothing OS and it looks personally good. If you love nothing OS, if you need nothing OS style lock screen, then this is a definite thing for you. I will try nothing goes soon and we'll see which are the major differences we are getting. The icon pack already having a lot of new icon packs which are already there with other custom rooms also. It's not unique but it's available. So if you want to change the icon pack of the status bar icons and UI icons and so on, you can do so without having any issues. This is about wallpapers and style section. Next, if you move on to three finger swipe gestures. You have a custom to swipe gestures available, which was expected. Like if in my case, I use three finger screenshot, everything else is just custom things. And I personally use for screenshot, but it also brings you the ability to disable the power button and volume down button. It will actually save your keys from being broken very soon. Definitely. It's good. And it also has the power of protection. In some custom rooms, yes, it is available. So whenever you click on hold on power button, it simply doesn't pop up anything. But in this case, it pop up. And if you click on the power of option, it will ask you to put your lock screen password. It's of course as useful as like the previous features, but it's available. So definitely just wanted to let you know. And I guess it is also available with nothing worse. In my personal opinion, I love this thing a lot because I'm using it from some time now and it's good. It's quite useful in many scenarios. Another thing which I always say in many custom rooms, one of my favorite features is regarding IME button space. So in this case, it's enabled by default, simply disable that and you'll be able to remove the space below the keyboard. And that is actually needed in this case, no issues. And I'm able to use it on my device without having any issues. It's good. It's working fine. It also brings you some experimental features, which brings you some of the spoofing options like useful ones, unlimited photo storage and so on. We also have the hiding developer option status and so on. But I was looking forward to play integrity fix. It's not there as it is unofficial. Version, it is actually official version, but many custom room, many devices did not get this update yet. Maybe key box option will be there for now. It's not there. But if you need play integrity fix, you can still fix it by installing some modules in magisk and so on. For now, these are things just wanted to let you know if you want to check this out, as I just told you, if it is available for your device, Go and explore this thing. If it is not available, then you can find out if it is available as a GSI and so on. So you can experience the latest version. For now, this is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like and I will see you in the next one. Until then, take care.